the next chapter of modern space exploration has begun. After the James Webb Telescope left our blue home planet on December 25, 2021, a few weeks ago we finally had the pleasure of marveling at the first images of the $10 billion device. As the most powerful space telescope of all time, Webb is supposed to provide us with detailed insights into those secrets of the cosmos that have long embodied the great unknown. But what are these fascinating subjects that Webb first captured on film? What future aspects of research are represented in these stunning photographs? Stay tuned and make up your own mind. We hope you enjoy today's video. Excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and fascinating spectacles in the cosmos? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. More than just a star. What at first glance appears to be merely a strikingly bright star is actually so much more. In fact, the image of the glistening celestial body embodies nothing less than the dawn of a new chapter in space exploration. Released in March 2022, it's one of the first images captured by the Webb telescope's NIRCAM. In detail, the celestial body bears this bulky designation, 2 mass J1755-4042 plus 6551-277, and is located about 2,000 light years away from our blue home planet. This very star was chosen to calibrate the 18 mirror segments of this sinfully expensive piece of equipment. With success, the individual components, which together form the main mirror with a diameter of 21.3 feet, were adjusted so that they are perfectly aligned and work together as planned in the same breath. While the shining object of desire is still within our home Milky Way, the galaxies behind it are significantly farther away from us. It is likely that billions of light years gape between us and these secluded collections of stars and company. After the calibration to the NIRCAM was successfully completed on March 16, 2022, nothing stood in the way of future web images. Before the corresponding images were made and published, however, NASA faced a challenging task. Which images should be presented first to the interested world public? After all, the unrivaled performance of Webb had to be underlined pictorially. To meet the expectations of the international media world, NASA even hired a team of PR specialists to provide advice and assistance to the experts. The researchers had set themselves some ambitious goals for the first publications. The very first web images were to be as colorful as they were diverse, and they were to cover as wide a range of future applications as possible. So, from a pool of 70 possible motifs, NASA finally decided on four images and one spectrum. Let's now take a closer look at the individual images. Flickering Star Death about 2,000 light-years from the Sun, NGC 3132 is classified as a planetary nebula. Contrary to this official designation, however, such structures have nothing to do with planets. Rather, these nebular structures consist of gas and plasma ejected by an old star at the end of its evolution. The common but misleading name is due to the fact that planetary nebulae often appear spherical when viewed through a telescope. Unlike other comparable objects, such as the Butterfly Nebula or the Cat's Eye Nebula, the structure captured by Webb presents a relatively plain appearance. How groundbreaking and pioneering the images are nevertheless becomes clear to us when we compare them once. We see that the telescope produced two different images of the complex. The images in the near-infrared are reminiscent of those taken by Hubble. In contrast, the image in the mid-infrared range is much more detailed. In this case, the two stars hiding inside the complex shine with almost the same brightness. In particular, the white dwarf that has ejected the surrounding nebular cloud is much more visible here. The bluish extensions we see at the edge of the structure also suggest the presence of hydrocarbons. The Cradle of Stars 
that the Carina Nebula exists has been known to mankind since 1751. However, this breathtaking nebula complex has never been presented to us in such rich detail as in the image taken by the James Webb Telescope. In detail, the Carina Nebula embodies a gigantic star-forming region. The oversized dust and gas clouds repeatedly pile up into spectacular structures. Many stars at home in the colorful scenery of the Carina Nebula are significantly brighter and larger than our Sun. The area in the Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way has been photographed several times in the past. However, many of the monstrous dust clouds are invisible in the visible spectrum of light. For this reason, Hubble was unable to direct his technical gaze into the innermost regions of the complex, where the actual heart of the stellar cradle lies dormant. However, since Webb was designed specifically for infrared astronomy, it masters this endeavor with flying colors. The revolutionary insights opened up by Hubble's successor will allow researchers to study the finely tuned balance of forces underlying star birth from an entirely new vantage point. Galactic Quintet In the constellation of Pegasus is a group of five galaxies. Collectively, this group is known as Stevens Quintet. In detail, the gravitationally bound collections of stars and company are located about 300 million light years away from our blue home planet. Since the galaxies influence each other due to their gravitational effects, remarkable spectacles occur there again and again. In simple terms, one could say that the galaxies steal each other's stars, with tidal forces repeatedly throwing the cosmic structure into turbulent chaos. The experts were also able to detect a strange filament in the corresponding images. Examination in the X-ray spectrum provided the insight that this was the outgrowth of a monstrous shock wave. The emission of X-rays was in turn due to the fact that the shock wave heated the intergalactic gas to several million degrees Fahrenheit. As a trigger of this primeval spectacle, the scientists suppose one of the two smaller galaxies. This crashes with an insane speed into the center of the galactic quintet. Spectrum of an Exoplanet So far, experts have been able to identify more than 5,000 exoplanets in nearly 3,800 systems. The search for new planetary worlds is always linked to the hope of one day finding a habitable celestial body, or even a cosmic twin of Earth. And it's precisely this exciting task to which Webb will devote himself in the future years of research. In order to classify a distant planet in terms of its habitability, it is essential to study its atmospheric composition. One way to make this endeavor a reality is through the spectral study of exoplanets. Indeed, this indirect measurement of light allows chemical compositions to be revealed. As a representative example, NASA published the determined spectrum of the exoplanet WASP-96b. Thanks to Webb's study, we know that the gaseous planet, 1,120 light-years away, harbors both water and clouds. Prior to this discovery, experts had assumed that the celestial body was cloud-free. Webb's first deep field. The deep fields have a kind of cult character in modern space research. The Hubble telescope has already provided us with many deep insights into our galactic neighborhood. In view of this, it should come as no surprise to anyone that Webb also seamlessly continues this pictorial tradition. In detail, Webb's first deep field was even the recording of the complex equipment that was first presented to the interested world public. But actually, this was not planned at all. Originally, the image of the galaxy cluster SMAC 0723 was to be published a day later than it was. However, U.S. President Joe Biden did not miss an opportunity to unveil the spectacular motif on July 11, 2022. And for good reason. Of all the web images to date, this one looks farthest into the depths of space by far. A distance of 4.6 billion light years gapes between us and the collection of countless galaxies. In total, the galaxy cluster has a mass of 340 trillion solar masses. In order to determine how far away the individual galaxies are from us in detail, individual examinations are necessary. In one case, the experts have already performed such an analysis. The breathtaking result? The galaxy under investigation is 13.1 billion light-years away 
from our blue home planet. Consequently, it's one of the earliest known galaxies ever. A glorious future. Although Webb's actual research mission hasn't even really begun yet, the Space Telescope has already shown us its unparalleled capabilities. However, the first images are merely the start in an endeavor that will take our understanding of the universe to a whole new level. Webb reacts up to 100 times more sensitively to electromagnetic waves than Hubble. Specifically, the instrument works from the red part of visible light to the mid-infrared spectrum. This capability is especially important because distant and thus early areas of the cosmos have been shifted into just that range as a result of redshift. This light is known to pass through interstellar gas clouds much better than visible light. In the coming years, Webb will therefore search specifically for those galaxies and luminous objects that were formed after the Big Bang. In addition, the telescope will provide us with new insights into the structure formation processes of the cosmos. In addition to the aforementioned study of exoplanets, the telescope will also be used to look at black holes, stars, and protoplanetary disks. So folks, now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the fascinating James Webb images? And which image captivated you the most? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.